story. Chetwin police are looking for one male suspect on Tuesday afternoon. The Chetwin RCMP responded to the People's Drug Store in downtown Chetwin. One man brandished a weapon at the drug counter and demanded an unknown product while dozens of customers were trapped inside the store. Witnesses were having trouble identifying the man, but one eyewitness, Tanya Richter, says he had one distinguishing feature. Can you tell us you were a, a witness for something pretty crazy that happened earlier this afternoon in Chetwin? Um, yeah, I uh, ended up at the, the local People's Drug Mart during my lunch hour to pick up some supplies for my daughter. And um, in the meantime, while I was shopping, apparently an armed robbery happened down at the pharmacy area. I didn't see it myself. I was down one of the aisles while I heard um, a little bit of talking going on and then all of a sudden I heard silence, so I didn't think nothing of it. So yeah, and then I didn't know of anything of it until I went to the till to go purchase my products and then um, I was told not to go to the till. And there was a whole bunch of people standing around and some staff members and that's the point where I thought maybe they're having a staff meeting or some kind of mock scenario or something. Worst case I thought someone was passed out in front of the tills or someone got sick but they ended up locking us all in for about 40 minutes because there was an armed robbery and the gentleman just left the building when I came up to the till. So the staff went out and kept you inside the building for safe precautions? Yeah, I was just walking up to the till and um, one of the staff workers that worked there, Doris, she said, Tony, you don't want to go over there. And that's when I thought maybe someone had passed out or waiting for an ambulance well, on the floor because they were trying to keep us away from the cash registers because the windows were there. So they wanted to keep us away from the windows because the gentleman who was armed just left people's and they locked him out and everybody else in and kept us away from the windows because he was still outside. So it wasn't like a big Hollywood scenario where, you know, gun gets pointed in the air and everybody's screaming and everything. You no, really it, didn't know that was going on. No, I had no idea. I was down like the hair dye aisle down there, busy shopping, but I'm kind of clueless. So it was, it seemed like it was really quiet. And then when I turned around the corner to go pay for my stuff, um, that's when there was a crowd of, you know, people out there shopping and coworkers and um, employees there that were standing around. It was just really calm considering over half the people that were standing there were the ones that witnessed it or were pushed by the person who was robbing the store. So it was kind of weird. So we stood around and visited. And how many people were locked indoor? I would say at the front end, because there were some people at the back by the pharmacy, um, I would say at the front end there was about 15 to 20 of us at the front with a couple of the employees from Peoples. And I don't know what was at the back end because they kept everybody a lot of people separate who actually seen it, giving statements. And was there anybody hurt? No, no one was hurt. Um, when the cops were all said and done after doing all the statements of all the people that witnessed it, they came up front to see if we were all safe or if anybody was traumatized or if anybody needed help. They were really good in that aspect, but um, after they found out everybody was fine, we were allowed to leave. Speaking about the police, would you say their response time was adequate? Were they there quickly? Oh, they were, because I, um, I just happened to walk up to the till when they locked the door. And uh, they were there within, oh, I would say, minutes, three, four minutes. It was really quick. So we'll take a positive out of that. It was really positive. Uh, have you heard any rumors of what was taken? Any idea what the stock was? Um, I, as, when I was there, nothing was taken. So I, um, the one thing, I don't know what was said to the pharmacist in the back. I just know that the person who was robbing the store took off running out the front door and that's when the pharmacist came up to the front and said we were just robbed. So everybody and the people that witnessed it, I just heard that nothing was taken. But they were obviously after something at the pharmacy. Without naming any names of the suspect or anything, does anybody have an idea of who it might be? No, um, I couldn't even get a description of the people that I was with. They just, I was young or old, it wasn't that. They just kept saying we couldn't see him. It's like he had a scarf that covered from his um, eyebrows up. It wasn't a toque, it was like a scarf, and then a scarf covering his face from his nose down. So he just basically seen eyes. And the one description that they said to look out for is a gentleman had, they called an old granny bag. I don't know what that means, but it reminded them of a poncho from Mexico, the type of uh, design on the outside. It kind of looked Mexican, but it was a, like a old purse, something like that. They said to watch out for that. And how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm shaken up at all? Um, more shaken up that I have to talk on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine. My daughter made this comment. You sh did you cry? Are you scared? I'm like, really? I didn't really see anything other than the after effects. 
Yeah, but being that you're so close to the whole action, do you feel like this is still a safe community? Oh yeah, for sure. I just, like I told someone that was there, maybe because they're cold and they were bored. I don't know. They needed something to do. Okay, what? Police were on scene within minutes of the original call and no injuries to customers or staff were reported. The RCMP has declined a comment on the matter, but sources say Tamar Maud was the pharmacist who was greeted by the suspect and when he handed him the unidentified medication, the suspect left through the front door.